good. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. It's really amazing. How did you guys like that intro? I know, I know, I, I made a new intro and I thought it was pretty nice. Spotify does this thing every year where they call it wrapped, where they take all the music that you listen to and all the genres and artists you listen to throughout the year and just put it together all in the very end and just summarize it all for you. So we're gonna look at mine and review my music for 2018. Please don't judge me because I listen to just about anything and then you might be surprised by some of the things that are on there. But again, I, disclaimer, I listen to everything. <laughs> Let's get into it. So the first thing they start with is firsts. Um, it says you started 2018 by listening to Silence by Marshmallow. And the first artist you discovered was Dave B. Okay, okay. First of all, for the Silence by Marshmallow, I completely agree with that. I was absolutely obsessed with that song. Even now, it makes me pretty. Hits me pretty deep in the feels. Anyway, yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, that would definitely be the first song I listened to, considering I listened to it a lot. I wish it showed how many times I streamed that song, because I remember going on a binge with that song for maybe months. <laughs> Regarding the first artist I discovered, Dave B, I'm not entirely sure who that is. Sorry, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't fully agree with that, but whatever, that's what it says, it's first. I can explain, I listened over the course of the year 14,342 minutes, I don't think that's that bad, I mean, c come on, I know there's some people out there who has listened like 20,000 plus minutes of music, and I honestly think that's lowballing it. I think I had more last year than I did this year. And I really, I really love listening to music. I'm actually a little disappointed in myself. That's such a low number. Okay, so up next it says top artist Bryce Vine. You spent 11 hours with your favorite artist Bryce Vine. And the pleasure was all theirs. 100% agree. Bryce Vine is an amazing artist. I discovered him this year. I actually forgot how I discovered him, but it best like coincidence or whatever ever so glad listen to his music he has really great songs i definitely know some of his songs are in my top like 100 playlist that they make for you uh we'll get into that a little later it's gonna show on here but i love bryce fine if there's one thing you need to take away from this entire video i love bryce fine <laughs> okay so the next thing it says the charts sure december has too many end of the year lists already but yours is special top artists Bryce Vine, Demi Lovato, Kehlani, Original Broadway, that's Hamilton, that's the Hamilton soundtrack. Again, I'll get into that in a second. Um, and Kyle. So, we already know how I feel about Bryce Vine. Demi Lovato, 100%. I was obsessed with her most recent album. If you haven't seen my vlog, I actually went to her concert when she was on tour. Love all the songs on that album, and that is so rare for me. Ugh. Such a great artist. Kaylani. Kaylani makes sense too. I freaking love Kaylani. She's just fantastic. I saw her as well with the Demi Lovato concert and it was, whew, it was good. <laughs> and then Hamilton. I am a late bloomer because apparently everyone already had their Hamilton stage where they went through loving that entire musical and soundtrack and everything. I've listened to all the songs. Oh, it's such a good musical. Oh, just thinking about it now, I just want to play all the songs. And Kyle absolutely makes sense. Another amazing artist. I actually feel like I could have listened to him a little more. I listen to, like, the same songs over and over again. But, I mean, it still counts. Top songs. First Burn, which is the uh, album artwork that's showing on here. Private School. That is by Bryce Vine. I want to be These Days with Jess Glenn. You all already know how I feel about Jess Glenn. If you don't, watch my This Artist Saved My Life video. Absolutely my favorite artist in the entire world. And Shine by Pentagon, which is K-pop. So, 
Again, I listen to practically everything. I listen to all kinds of genres. First, Burn. If you haven't listened to it, it's like a, it's similar to Burn from Hamilton. It's a really amazing video and it, mm, it's so good. Let me play this for you guys. Let me play this little snippet. If any of you know Hamilton out there, you'll know what this is referencing. <laughs> If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. It's really amazing. And some people put animatics, like they make um, animations to go with the song. It is amazing. And I binged this song like crazy. <laughs> Private School by Bryce Vine. Again, agree. He was the artist I spent the most hours with. So absolutely agree that that should be one of those. One of his songs should be up there. I Want to Be by Kaylani. I binged that song a little bit, but I don't really listen to it as much anymore. But I could see why that made my top five. Um, These Days with Jess Glenn, Malcolm Moore. Um, I binged that song as well, too. But again, I don't listen to it as often as I should. But I still absolutely love that song. And then Shine. My K-pop song, Shine. I, there is a special part in my heart with Shine. I love Pentagon. They are maybe not necessarily the first K-pop group I discovered, but the first one I really like just latched onto. I feel like a lot is coming out about me right now. They have the best dance moves. Can I just say that? They have the best dance moves. I just love them so much. <laughs> That's not going to make sense to a lot of you, but that's okay. And this is cringe and I'm sorry, but I love these songs. <laughs> Top genres. So this is like me swiping over. Top genres is pop. Absolutely makes sense. I like to say I'm not like a cliche poppy person, but I am. Um, hip hop, R&B, dancing electronic, and then indie. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really change that list. That's definitely my top five. Top 100, we put your favorite songs from 2018 in a playlist. Some super solid choices in there, by the way. And I will play some songs from my top 100 playlist uh, at the end of like this review so that you guys can see what kind of songs are on there that you haven't heard already. Dance pop, your favorite musical subgenre is dance pop. There are only about 2,872,000 listeners who love this type of music as much as you do. As you do. Um, I'm not entirely sure how true that is, but I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that, but I mean, sure, whatever. <laughs> Oldest song, even with all the newfangled music coming out, you still found time for oldies like My Girl, recorded in 1965 by The Temptations. <laughs> Love The Temptations. My Girl is a classic. I can't believe that's the oldest song that I've listened to, but so good. If you know me, just so good. I love The Temptations. I love that movie and I love that song. Taurus. It's in the stars. In 2018, you listen to more Taurus artists like Kehlani and Kyle than any other sign. Um, I didn't know they were Taurus. That's a fun fact for me that I just learned and I'll take it. That's awesome. All talk. In between tunes, you tuned in some quality podcasts. Your favorite was Stuff You Should Know and you also dug Optimal Living Daily, Personal Development. Um, I don't agree with this there was a brief moment where I thought I would like podcasts since I walk everywhere but that lasted like three days and then I never really listened to podcasts again so taste breakers start 2019 by broadening your horizons we've made you a playlist of songs from genres and artists you don't normally explore and we think you'll like it we're gonna look at that playlist also at the end just to see how I like that I haven't really gone through that one too much so it's gonna be an experience for you and me and then at the end, it shows all my stats, um, top artists we already, we already went through, top songs, minutes listen, and top genre. And that right there is my 2018 wrap. Like I mentioned earlier, I have some songs on here I was going to play 
that I listen to, there are so many different types, like, from rap, like you saw, hip-hop, pop, indie, I have K-pop on here, I've got it all, so we're just gonna play some random ones. Oh my gosh, don't get me started, I found a Hamilton song, and I really want to play the whole thing, but I know I can't, because I don't want to get copyright struck or whatever, so, just a little bit. <laughs> Folks love more than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and gawk at the students in the common just to watch them talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. Up all, but little does he know that his daughter's Peggy Angelica Eliza stick to the city just to watch all the guys. It might be Angelica. was bad i know i just really love hamilton Ooh, kyle i have to play this one i have to play this song girl why are you playing with me girl who are you playing with you've been on that new stuff i've been on the same shit let me go ahead and play some songs from taste breakers we'll see how it goes um this is called Tequila by Dan and Shay. I can still shut down a party. I can hang with anybody. First off, let me just say I do not do country. I cannot do country. At least it has to be like country rock or country pop if I'm even going to listen to it. So there's probably a lot of country on here because I don't listen to that at all. But let's let's go on. I can drink whiskey and red wine. I do not like red wine. That's the end of that. We're just we're just gonna stop the video right there. That is my Spotify 2018 wrap, you guys. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to click subscribe, click the like button, and the notification bell so you can know when my other videos come out. And tell me what your top songs for 2018 were because I'd really like to know that I'm not alone with all these different genres. I am never listening to my taste breaker again. Nah. <laughs>